Hello, this is Triple Battery. We're showing you how to convert Windows 32-bit to 64-bit. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go on the desktop, and you're going to open a Windows Explorer uh, window, and then you're right-clicking on the computer, hit Properties, and wait for that to load. Once that window is loaded, it'll show you a bunch of your system information, and you're going to want to click where it says Rating, and it'll say something like Your Windows Experience Index needs to be refreshed or something like that. Click on that, and then you'll get this screen. All right, so um, if you had never rated your computer, you'll click uh, refresh or rate this system uh, right where I'm showing you now. Um, but if you do, just click uh, view and print detailed information or after you re you know rate it, and then it'll load up another window. And in this window, you're going to want to look where it says system, and it'll show, it'll have this spot, spot that says 64-bit capable. And if it says yes, then you're good to go. If it says no, then you're... Either just give up now, or you're going to have to get hardware that's compatible with 64-bit. Alright, so now you're going to restart your computer, so, um, yeah, and then boot from the Windows 8 X64 disk. Uh, the X86, because that's not what we want. X86 is 32-bit. Wait for that to boot, and then click Next, select your language and everything, install now and you're going to want to do a custom install. Alright, so you, um, yeah, you just accept the terms and then custom install like Elijah just said. Alright, so um, you want to select your uh, you know, drive which you have, you know, you want to install it on. If you already got Windows on here, it'll bring up this message and it'll say it's moving all your files to Windows.old directory and your C drive. Just on the root, you'll be able to find it easy. That you can pull your data from. Alright, so now it's installing. It's copying over your it's copying Windows files, getting files ready for installation, all that good stuff. We're just gonna speak through it real quick, <clears throat> just for the sake of the video. Then it'll restart for you. Then it'll go through the Windows app. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, this takes forever. So you need to find some, you know, good things to do in the background. Elijah threw away my props that I was going to show you what to do. He got mad at me. Uh, yeah. My prop. So if you're going to want to play Mario or, uh, watch my, your Blu ray movie, give me my Blu ray movie. Alright, yeah, you're gonna watch Blu-ray movies while you are doing this. Blu-ray because it speeds up time faster since you're like amazing in the blogging. So don't throw these on the floor. As you can see by the quality of this video, we're obviously professionals at this. No. We're making a living off of it. No. We're in your Alright, so enter your, enter, shut up, enter your product key, run through your uh, Windows setup and everything, enter the colors you want, your email address. We just sped through it really fast just to get it over with. Then it says checking for a Microsoft account. Then I'll have you enter your email for your Microsoft account. And, yeah, and it'll ask you to add security information. And then it will start creating your account. And then it goes through the welcome screen. And it says this message, we're getting your PC ready with a bunch of funky cool colors that are going really fast in this video, so it looks really way cooler than the actual Windows 8. And it's slightly laggy. It is slightly little. laggy. Because it's a virtual machine, of course. On a really uh, bad 400 times, machine. 400 times speed, yeah. Probably a little bit more. 
Hold on. All right, so um, now you've made it to Metro, you just want to click desktop again, and uh, do the same steps you did last time to uh, check your, you know, what, you know, what X64, X6, X86S you're using. Okay, so once the Explorer window is opened, right click on computer like you did before, and go to properties. Then the same window will open up with all your system information, and it will show you how you did. shows you that you have 64-bit windows now, then you're done. Congratulations. If it says 32 is still, you used the wrong installer disk, and you're just going to have to do it over and wait. And wait another six years.